My name is Fritz Eilber. I'm a surgical oncologist at UCLA. I'm the director of the sarcoma program there. So as a surgeon, I have a very, I tend to be the entry point to UCLA for about at least half of the patients or thereabouts. And not everybody uh, is, def is a person that I'll necessarily operate on, uh, nor do they all, all need surgery. But it's more important for me to get them into UCLA and under the appropriate care because these are rare tumors and the community physicians really just don't have enough expertise to handle them. It's, it's difficult even in our scenario where I have a, an incredible multidisciplinary team of physicians taking care of these uh, patients. As a group, we function very much as a multidisciplinary group. The effort to do this study, this PDOC study, was a group decision. The success of it uh, has obviously gotten a lot of other people excited about it as well uh, within our group and beyond. Um, so it's, it definitely is snowballing and as more success has come out I think it'll be uh, more apparent how effective it is. I, I personally think this company will be successful. I mean it, it's a, it fills a need, needed niche and there doesn't, there's no other company that exists that is of this quality in this space. There's really two aspects to it. One is the individual patient story, which really drives most of us. But the, as more and more people participate, the, the immortalized PDOX bank grows. And that bank is a uh, incredibly valuable resource uh, that has uh, many companies and drug discovery companies and pharma companies very interested in testing preclinically their drugs to identify patient populations where they may work. And you can test on cell lines and various reasons, but you can kill almost anything, a uh, cell line with anything. If it works in a human tumor in mice, the argument or the evidence to proceed is uh, the best that exists currently. Um, so if you're gonna, if you have a drug and it works in a patient-derived xenograft model or a pool of them, then the, it can go to clinical trial, at least in our patient population. Um, on cell lines or other pre preclinical testing, the argument is a little harder to make. And uh, so I think there's a there's two fronts to it really. There's the patient that can benefit directly, and then drug discovery in terms of utilizing the bank and that, th those issues. My father was a, a very well-known cancer surgeon who uh, really was a mentor to me, and he really early on in his career did things that were not the standard of care. He did some of the original randomized trials and some of these uh, diseases as a surgeon. He ran the medical oncology trials. I mean, just, he did things, he just did them. And they very much defined how we treat this disease. I enjoy taking care of patients and I enjoy, I'm a surgeon, I love to operate, but ultimately, coming up with a new way to attack this disease or cure it is what drives me for sure, um, which is very atypical for a surgeon, I would think. But I consider myself more a, a cancer doctor who does surgery rather than a surgeon first.